Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to go over a quick tutorial on the Iconator. Uh, the Iconator is a node glyph icon management system, which essentially is just a little drop down menu to allow you to choose the icon for your nodes. Um, by default, in UEX right now, it's using Font Awesome. Uh, we plan to maybe extend that in the future, but um, it can technically support other uh, icon systems. Um, before in the past you had to use uh, CSS, so this is just a nice visual way to get your node icons uh, changed up easily. Uh, of course, if you want an image, you still have to use the traditional way. Um, but anyways, if you want to change these on a global level, you do so on a theme uh, a theme basis. So you go to your theme. I have one called Iconator Test, which is just currently a child of UEX. I go to the style properties. Uh, and I go to my uh, forum node style property group. Um, here you'll see this area right under enable node icons as glyphs. Um, this, uh, the, the Iconator only works with this setting on. So like I said, if you want images, turn this off and you'll, you'll get images. Um, but anyways, um, you can change categories, forums, or link and page node types. Um, so for example, let's say we wanted to change our forums, which are the ones you generally see, you could do so here. So I can pick pretty much anything I want. If I want my default to be a, um, well, anything, let's say a camera, I can do so. And if I want my unread state to be something different, I can, well, I can make it a camera here as well, but if I want it to be something entirely different, you can do that as well. So like an exclamation mark or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Then I can go back to the front end, refresh, and you'll see that my forum node types are all the camera now. Notice that the page and category types are unchanged. And if you want to see the unread state, you can see here uh, they are now exclamation marks. So anyways, um, if you, uh, there is another option. Let's say you want to change specific nodes. So to do that, you just go to your application tab, click on display node tree, find the forum you want. So let's say I want to edit uh, forum uno right here. I go to Forum Uno, I click Node Options, I can go to Node Icons, and here I can uh, do the same thing. So let's say I want Forum Uno to be, um, well, let's search for something. Can you do pizza? No. Can you do food? Uh, no. Can you do dine? Eh, let's just do, um, let's just do this little, this little cloud right here. Okay, so you can do a cloud, and then you can do something different if you want. Um, for the unread state, uh, like an arrow. Then I click save, go back, and now I should see for forum uno, a cloud. So it itself is just a cloud, and of course the unread state should be an arrow. Just everything else is still the exclamation mark on the camera. Um, you can also do this on a global level with inheritance, um, and that just means you go to the category level and do the same thing. So you go to the category level here, uh, clear, and click node options. Um, specifically, you want style options. Um, go to the node icons there, and for the red forum, let's try uh, this anchor, and same thing for, and maybe Android icon for unread. Go back to the front end, click refresh, and now everything under, um, let's see, where did we add that in? We added it here, under category one, uh, should be an anchor. Note that I've set a couple to be a coffee, flag, and apparently a camera already. Um, but that's how you use the Iconator. Uh, any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.